Good morning. It's Lisa with Soul Shine, and it's morning tea with me time. And today, instead, in the summertime, I often don't want to do hot tea. I do a nice big glass and mason jar of ice cold water because I'm clearly not drinking enough water. So today is back at it with water. So one of the things I was thinking of this morning to talk about on morning tea with me today was the concept of rest and I came right off of a wonderful weekend away um, just a single night you know, out of town in Annapolis eating yummy food and having really good laughs with good friends and and it was really really restful and I'm getting ready to head into a little couple day jaunt to the beach and again that'll be very restful and the days in between when you really don't have any vacations or getaways, I, I feel like don't they don't really need to be the opposite of rest. Like, why can't we just find rest in everything we do? And it seems so difficult, especially in these days when there's so much chaos in the news and then it just seeps into your thoughts and you start to worry. And um, I woke up with that worry as well this morning. There's a couple conversations I have to have with my youngest and not looking forward to it. And so I was just spinning and ruminating with a bunch of different scenarios and which way things could go and what I should say and what I should have done and all that stuff and expectations I should have set for a young one living for the very first time at the beach <laughs> on his own. Um, so I have that little worry and I have um, some boundaries that I need to set with a gal that I'm mentoring and helping. Um, so just yucky conversations, the potential is just yucky. And so I started to worry about it today and it stressed upon me the importance of rest and that it doesn't need to be just found in a weekend away that in our own minds, we just need to constantly focus and rest in rest. <laughs> it's a little redundant, but we just need to seek it out and find it. And I'm even just preaching to myself here that I woke up with worry and I just had to refocus my mind on what I know to be true about the big guy and what he thinks about me and what he thinks about Cole and the sweet gal that I am helping, um, that he loves them dearly and, um, and that everything is just gonna work out the way it should. And um, I'm just gonna rest in that and I don't know what my dog is doing. Charlie, oh, he's bringing his bed over beside me. Look, he pulled that all the way from the living room. Oh, and he's resting too. What a super, super analogy. Like it just all chimes in together. So my hope is that whatever you're spinning and ruminating with, whether it's a conversation that you have to have with a loved one or you're worried about jobs or bills or whatever, I hope that you can seek out that rest, that little happy little spot in your mind and just stay there and do all your things from that place of rest instead of worry because it really, worry just tears you up. It adds wrinkles to your face and stumps in your guts and um, it's, not, it's not productive. You're not making much fruit. So I'm gonna do like Charlie in my mind and I'm gonna find my little comfy spot in the sun and I'm gonna to rest today while I'm doing my work because I'm leaving and I have a long list of soul shine things and chores to do and errands and um, I'm just gonna occupy all of that from a place of rest and get done what this sister can get done today and not worry about the rest. So I hope that some of this makes sense and you're able to pull out some and apply it to your life and just swipe left on the rest. I'm gonna jump off here and get started on my list. I hope you know that whatever you're doing today, I'm sending you so much love and I hope you have a most marvelous day. Love you much. Mwah, mwah, mwah.